Boom. It's uh, it's different from the others. Is it, is it in Crash One? I think there's something similar in Crash yeah. One, right? Hold the dash. Yeah. They don't. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't like about Crash Three. They don't really have a proper bold eleven. Yeah. I don't remember where any of those things are. Beautiful. I know I'm looking forward to. I'm both looking forward and dreading the poker levels. Which should be basically the equivalent of all the walks out levels in the previous one. Yeah, the photo levels are kind of fun. I like that little animation they added as well. I, I kinda like it, it kind of annoys me as well. Is isn't there a way of um, cancelling it? Yeah, but you gotta you gotta avoid jumping if you don't have to, because if you jump when you're not supposed to, you may end up in a hole. Which is always fun. The Disney trees are destroyed by the boulder, which somehow slows it down. <laughs> the hill somehow doesn't speed it up. It's all good. But there aren't any secrets in this one, is there? There's a couple of holes you're supposed to jump down or like go back over. It's kind of crazy. They do actually have indicators. There's just no way you would know that they were supposed to. Now, why did you go that side and not to the to the right and then break it? Yeah. I was, I was I was thinking about it. You could see me. I went over it and I was like, now why did I? Nah, I don't want to do that, do I? Well, hold on. Did I actually get it? Yeah. Yeah, you did. It sounded like it flew off. Okay, I'm switching to act uh, uh, digital for this. <laughs> this is gonna be a little slow. Oh man. Uh, this is what this is two, what getting all the boxes three, means. Four, five. You can do like a weird spin jump thing. You can. I'm not gonna try it though. It's you can kind of slide jump off the boxes and you break them as you slide over them. I lost count. Oh, I was close. <laughs> I only just moved off that. I wasn't counting for that last one. You get ten doing that. You can get ten apples out of each crate before it breaks. Sparks when it gets disorientated between forwards and backwards. You know this what? is fine. This it's is fine. something I like yeah. about the Crash games, is, is tutorials on the go. They introduce you to, to new things in situations where they're not too difficult, and then bring them in in a more difficult or more actually used sense later on. And now they're going to start bringing in boxes as well. Boom. There's this constant sense of, like, fear. Very last minute reactions to everything. Oh, I missed them! And they weren't destroyed by the bloody boulder! They're destroyed by the boulder. Arrgh! I guess it's failure. Just need to restart. Failure. Okay, we're back with this run. I didn't pay, I didn't hit them last time. Good. Okay, let's see if Sparks can actually get the boxes this time. Oh come on, it's not it's not that easy. First first block, I should say. There we go. See how easy that was? Yeah. So why didn't you do it first time? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pass the controller back. Boom. Yeah, did the pits. Shaka, laka. I don't know. We may or may not get. I think this may be the first time we don't get a thing, but we may also get a thing. Oh yeah. Do a little dance, make a little love, turn around tonight. Uh huh, uh huh. Woo! No cutscene. That's good. You didn't deserve a cutscene. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I missed a box. I missed three boxes. Three entire boxes, Sparks. I know. Whoop. This is like Turtle Woods 2 right here. Oh yeah, this is the only guy. It's not... It's not too tricky, it's more just a tad irritating. Oh, it's, with, it's got a fork, doesn't it? Yep. Mm. 
fantastic. Yep. So I do like the diversity of levels you get in Crash 2. There's quite a wide range of levels. A lot of them have got their own bad guys and things like that. Which um, makes it makes it you get much more um, replayability out of it because it's almost like several sort of different games within themselves. It's kind of nice. Um, especially, I like the. Uh, there's, there's also the levels where you've got different mechanics, like the the, the bear it and things like that. Yeah. That's what I think. You missed that checkpoint. Oh, that's right, Crazy Man. Yep. That's, yeah, that's a kind of tricky one, that. There's anything more here? I think, yeah, I can see the end there. Yeah. Right. I know on one of them one, so there's like two more boxes slightly further along. Yeah, that's something else the game that, that does. It kind of it has very similar elements in different versions of the same level. So you kind of forget which one belongs in which level. Um, which can be interesting. And basically, the reason I got the checkpoint later is because if I now die, I don't have to do that little bit again. Yeah. Which is just... Basically. Pain in the arse. <laughs> that was a good save. It's a little derpy. It's alright. I did that on purpose. To give the audience... Um, a little suspense. Yeah. <laughs> suspense. The mark of a good Let's Player. You yep. just try to spin Suspense. <laughs> now you have no safety net anymore, right? No. No, no. I'm also, I get the boss. I need the safety net. You're gonna do the boss? Uh, can do. I said I am a boss rather than I'm gonna oh, do okay. the boss. <laughs> but I, I can also do the boss. If... I can I can probably handle Rick Rory. Oh yeah, the first need to belly flop crate. Yeah, they're kind of cool. You'll notice that Crazy Man got out of that pit in one. He's quite a bit better than me at that kind of jump. I'm, get I'm getting a bit of a, a bit. This is a really nice puzzle. Look at this, right? You've got to bounce on the more ones to get down. Then you need to get back up them, but you also need to be able to get back down. So I think you you can actually just jump. You all the way down, can't you, without them? So you've got to no, you have to do that kind and leave of can one get box. down without them, but it's very tricky to do that. Yeah. To... I think that's one of my favourite puzzles in the whole of Crash Bandicoot 2. It's just just so simply and nicely laid out. Mm -hmm. You've got to know the trick if you want to do it properly. It's the sort of thing, yeah, but it'll probably be two or three attempts before you manage it, and then you need that to get the gem. Yeah, Ooh. it's a really neat little puzzle. I'm so happy! I love the fact that the sound effect of them breaking out of the ground kind of cuts off. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Can't waste my time with it's, any it's of like some, It's like somebody, somebody slightly re readjusting their position on a leather sofa while wearing nothing. short shorts. Or nothing. Like, it's naked and slightly sweaty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That is what that sound reminds me of. Boom. And, because I did such a good job, I should get a cutscene once we <laughs> finish dancing. Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room. They can attack you on your way to the next one. <gasps> to get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Um, okay. Um, this is another really nice mechanic they built into the game. Rather than having like a tooltip or something, if you stand on this platform, he does this to let you know that you can go up. You can just press the up key. I think it's kind of a nice little in built into the game sort of. He also does a pointy down behavior going down. He does, yeah. He kind of crouches, spreads his legs, and like leans over. And goes down. This is the first boss, Ripperoo. 
There's a little E equals MC squared on the ground there, which I hadn't noticed before. Yeah. On the ground texture. It's pretty simple. You just gotta stand where he doesn't place any TNT. Yeah, he's definitely a lot easier than in Crash 1. Yeah. And then you kind of do the same thing with the nitros. You can walk on these, can't you? I'm not sure if you can walk on the nitros. You can walk on the TNTs. And he basically damages himself like an idiot. And you just spin him. And that's basically it. You can definitely walk on these. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure about the nitros. And I'm not sure I want to try. I think that's basically the reason I don't know. I think I stand here? Ish? It's the next one. Who's flying around his head? They don't look like birds. I don't know, let's watch out for it next time. Because I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, it is. It's in here. They're crates! The little crates with wings! <laughs> Have you never noticed that before? I'd noticed those things flying around his face, but I, I'd never really... I oh, guess I kind, kind of, of would just assume that they were birds. Yeah. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that's great. Yoink! Taking the control back, control back, control back. Warp Room 2, guys! Oh no! We don't really need the lies, but do we want to show off the polar bear trick? Uh, we can do that. I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. Yet again. again. I, I know this. these lines way too well. There what a thing. Twenty to be exact. Twenty more gems. And by gems, I mean crystals. To rip the earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb it's and contain weird how it's like... You can kind of see his teeth through his lip. Is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't. I know it's Coco's image is a lot clearer, <laughs> despite the fact she's using a laptop with no battery apparently. <laughs> yeah. And it's supposed to have a worse signal. I really, I really wish that one of her lines was, uh, <laughs> "To power my laptop, I've temporarily rigged up a coconut and, um, and a lemming or something." Okay. To generate the power. Do you have preference for any of these levels? Um, not hugely, no. Okay, I'm gonna do the eel deal, man. Okay. Because I know there's a secret gem in it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's an interesting format they have with the warp, warp rooms here, because with the previous crash, and like a lot of, like the earlier Mario games as well, you can't choose your level, really. You've got to do them in a set order. Here you can choose, which both kind of lets you if you get frustrated with one of the levels, you can kind of move off and do a different one. Is it some of the Mario games, like Mario 3, you can sort of pick levels? Yeah, but the other thing it lets you do is that you can sort of strategically pick level order, um, which can be useful for things like, like having certain Aku Akus at certain times, or like they've got the, the whole crystal thing where you can have crystal platforms which only open up yeah. if you've played different levels, so it's kind of nice because it lets you almost customise your play. We're playing yeah. field a little bit. Well, it's kind of why I went for this one first, just because I know it's got a kind of gem. And while I'm not Here's an example one of bad game design. Invisible walls with yeah. no indication. Like, I can understand invisible walls where there's some sort of hint, but that, you just gotta know it's there, really. these yourself or did you ever look up where the gems are in like cheap code? Uh, because I think I looked them up. I, I know I definitely looked them up. Oh, come on. Just kill me. Just kill me. No, no. Um, I know I definitely looked some up. Like, I, I think I looked this one up uh, not that long ago when we were playing it again because I couldn't actually remember how to get this one. Yeah. yeah. Alright. You, you know, you know what you're doing. Yeah. I, I, Apparently I not. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. Oh 
bonus. Bonus stage. Oh, by the way, deaths on bonus stage don't lose lives, so I'm not going to count them on the death counter. Yeah, that just, is correct. Just thought I'd mention that. Just before you die, you're just going to mention that. Deaths uh, and bonus levels don't count. <laughs> it's the sort of thing most people say after you've died <laughs> in the bonus level. Die. What's the max number of lives in crashes at 99? Yeah. Yeah. That was almost done falling. Boom. Oh. You can just about get all of them, can't you? Yeah. If you do it just right. But it's not easy to get just right. Sewer rats, and then I like the way the level kind of changes color, and you've got sort of like a heat duct instead of it's almost like a ventilation system down here or something. What am I doing? What are you doing, crazy man? Crazy, and a man, and baby. Those are kind of interesting little guys. This is what I mean by different levels having like their own collection of bad guys. It's interesting. Because you're kind of learning all the way through as you go. So you introduce new mechanics and bad guys slowly. Those guys kind of freak me out because they don't do anything. They just watch you. They go up and down. Yeah, a little Those bit. Those guys go up and down. They're a lot lighter. And then we than they go look. from boiling hot to ice. <laughs> yeah. Perfect logical sense. <laughs> Hello. They're very heat heat reductive doors. Though. It's basically a walk-in fridge. And there's a control. Thank you. <clears throat> and do we get a cutscene? Probably For not. Our epic work. I don't think so. We do our little dance. Do you look my little dance? I'm dancing! No, no cutscene. Mm. Crash, crush, Barrett, air crash, snow beers, or the eel deal. I've just done the eel deal. Hmm. 